What's going on you guys? Today I have a lower body workout for you. We are going to be doing some strength training first. We're going to follow that with some more cardio moves and then we're going to just kind of burn it out. It's going to get intense really quick. So grab your dumbbells. You need dumbbells for this and an exercise mat, some water, which I just realized I forgot mine. So I'm going to go get it and let's get started. So here we go, I got my water. So let's get warmed up. Um, we're gonna start just by kicking the butt here. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pouring down rain. So it is like so exciting for San Diego. We literally haven't had rain in like nine months. So it's like really exciting. It's kind of dark and it's pouring down rain. And one of my favorite things to do when it's raining is to work out in here because it just, dark and gloomy and rainy and weird I know all right let's go ahead and squat push those arms forward make sure those knees aren't collapsing inward and then row it in here squeeze the shoulder blades together again push forward and squeeze back forward squeeze back so sometimes when it rains really hard here I flood a little in here so hopefully we don't get flooded out because there's a lot of electricity and things in here. <laughs> a lot of plugs on the ground. A couple more just like this, guys. One more, and as you can see, Franny ran through here as she got dirt everywhere. <laughs> Go ahead and rock it side to side. So anyways, it's super cold and rainy and windy and exciting. Like we literally do not get storms here. So this is like, I feel like when you're in third grade and it starts raining and everyone runs over to the window, that's me right now. All right, as you feel more and more warm here, you can get deeper into it. Good, go ahead and straighten those legs out and let's go from one toe to the other. Back down the opposite way. So our, we're going to start with um, some more lifts, right? Some basics of deadlifts, squats, lunges, stuff like that. And then we'll move to like less complex, you know, single leg stuff. We we'll move into more cardio based and some like holds, some burny stuff. And then we're really going to burn it out on our last couple circuits. Good. Let's bring it together and just jog in place here. I'm excited for this workout. I think it's going to be good. Roll those shoulders back while you're here. Back and down, jogging in place. Go ahead and roll them forward. All right, let's switch now. Kicking one leg and switch. Opposite toes, opposite fingers. I'm briefly stretching that hamstring of the leg that's kicking up. Oh, Franny just seriously got mud like everywhere in here. Good. All right, let's go ahead and roll it down, walk it out to plank, and walk it back up. Roll down all the way out and all the way back up. Roll it up, shoulders back and down. Roll it forward all the way down and back. Two more just like that. Roll it down, walk it out. Nice strong plank. All the way up, shoulders back and down. Last one, roll, walk it out. Strong plank, roll it all the way up. Shoulders back and down. Good, let's step back and then tuck that pelvis so you can get a stretch on the hip flex or the leg that's back and behind. You can reach those arms up if you like. Switch, tuck, push, and lean back. Again, switch, and switch. Switch again. Good, now this time, I'm gonna just step back into a lunge. Good, switch, 
reverse lunges. I want you to focus on that knee staying in line with your ankle and hip. So you're making sure this knee doesn't collapse inward. Drop it down. To keep this more in your glute, what you can do is lean the upper body forward a hair more, right? So bring this more into that quad, tuck that pelvis and drop straight down in the middle. Whatever floats your boat today. I'm gonna do a little of both as I get my legs warm. Good, all right, we should be nice and warm. So go ahead, grab your weights. If you got heavy weights, let's get those. And let's do this. All right, my friends, uh, we're gonna start with a basic squat. Um, like I said, I've got my heavy dumbbells today. I'm gonna use about 30 pounds in each hand. Uh, use what you've got. I'm gonna take them and I'm going to cheat them up, whoo, pop them up onto my shoulders. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna squat down. So get ready. I want you to push those hips back, push that booty back like you're gonna sit into a chair. Here we go. Squat down and up. Tuck that pelvis at the top. Squeeze the glutes. You have got about 30 seconds. Just breathe. Focus on control, form, pickle jars on those feet. 20 seconds. 15. I feel my bum. Five. And rest. My timer didn't go off. All right, guys, next exercise, timer's fixed. Next exercise is a Romanian deadlift. So I'm gonna stand with my feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna use my 30 pounds again, and I'm gonna just slide them down and up. Here we go. Dumbbells stay nice and close to your body. Abs pulled in. They slide, they just trace the shape of your leg. Back is flat. You're hinging at the hips. It's not a squat. Our legs are kind of straight. We got a slight bend in that knee. 10 more seconds here. Three. Rest. All right, we're gonna go back to that squat. So take this uh, 10 more seconds to rest. Let's get those weights up. Here we go. Squat down. Everyone's squat depth is different. So you're gonna do the best you can while keeping that back flat, not letting the lower back round or excessively arch. Just about halfway. 20. 
and get a little extra rest before we move on to the next two exercises. All right, guys, next exercise is a sumo squat. We're gonna have our toes uh, facing forward. For this one, I'm going to be using about 22 pounds in each hand. I'm dropping my weight a little because I'm not as strong in that wider stance. So toes forward, just like a regular squat, but wider, same rules apply. Squatting down and up. You can hold one weight here. You can hold two weights here. I'm gonna pop mine on my shoulders. We go in 10 seconds, so get ready. Get that stance nice and wide. You still want those knees tracking in the same direction as your toe, right? The focus here is on the outside of those thighs, the glutes, even into those inner thighs. Slow, control, hinging at the hips to drop that booty back, not dominating from the knee. Just dropping that butt down. Almost done, 15 seconds. 10. Oh, and the legs, five. Two, rest. All right, now same idea, nice and wide. We're gonna do our deadlift here. So instead of like before, we are going to be wider stance. Here we go. Slide down and up, nice and wide. Slight bend in the knee. Hinging at the hips, dropping the chest forward by keeping that back nice and flat. Shoot your butt out. Squeeze to bring it back up. 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. 15. 10. Five. My glutes are on fire, guys. Two. Rest. I'm gonna set them down for a second. Sumo squat. Whew. We go in five, get the rates, get the rates ready. Weights ready. Here we go. Nice and wide. Squat. Well, you know when that timer has some good news for you. Grip the floor with your toes your entire foot, strong arch, right? You're still powering through those heels, but you're gripping like a monkey. 10 seconds. Five. Rest. Oh my gosh. Sumo deadlift. We hinge at the hips, nice and wide, toes still forward. In three. Here we go. Slide down and up. See if I can get a nice side view for you guys. Brace your core. Focus all your energy on getting your glutes to bring you up. Think about the muscles you're using. 20 seconds. 15. Ten. Five. Keep going, guys. And rest. All right. Little extra rest, quick sip of water. We're moving on. All right guys, next exercise. So we're going uh, to reverse lunges. We're gonna alternate the feet here. Alternate with legs stepping back. 
So now we're getting to, you know, more single sided, um, less complex movements. So I'm going to use the same weight. It's about 22 pounds in each hand. Uh, probably the first thing to fatigue is going to be my grip or my forearms, which I hate, which is like why I like barbells, but here we are with dumbbells at home, right? All right. In 15 seconds, we're just going to alternate which leg is stepping back and behind. Remember your pickle jar, right? First down and out to get that knee and uh, to fall in line and your bum to fire. Here we go. Step back and up. <sighs> Dropping right in between those legs. If you want it a little more in your glute, you can drop that chest just a hair. Focus on pressing through the heel of the foot that's in front. That doesn't mean you lift your toes off the ground. Stay strong through that big toe. Bust out your monkey feet. 10 more seconds. Three. Rest. We get to come down. We're gonna do a weighted bridge. You use the same weight, pop it up under my hips, press my hips up and tuck them in. Bridge. Yeah. Here we go. Up. Some people are really strong in this movement, while others really struggle here. So if you're strong here, you can always bump up that weight or you can always switch it to a hip thrust, right? Put your upper back on a bench, bed, or your couch. It'll give you a little more range. Work those muscles a little differently. For the sake of convenience, it's a bridge today. Five, and my butt's on fire. Rest, all right. Come up slowly. We're going back to those reverse lunges. Don't get lightheaded. All right, we go in five. Go ahead, grab them. Here we go. Step back and up. With control. Pickle jars, guys. Thirty. Oh my gosh. This is kind of it for the heavy stuff. So we're going to switch to some lighter dumbbells after this circuit. Ooh, I'm winded. Eight. Five. Down. Oh my gosh. Bridge. Pretty sure I forgot to put deodorant on. Yep. I forgot. Pop it up. Oh. Squeeze at the top. Think less about thrusting your hips as high as you can, but rather pushing up and tucking that pelvis in towards your nose. Abs stay engaged. This is how you protect your lower back from that excessive arch and possible strain. Ooh, here comes the rain again. Five seconds. Oh, my bum, right? And rest, guys. All right, we have a little extra rest again. Take a sip of water, we're moving on. All right, guys, I dropped my weights down to about 18 pounds um, in each hand. I, uh, our next exercise are uh, alternating curtsy lunges. So we're gonna step back and behind together and switch like we're wearing a beautiful dress and
we are going to curtsy off to each side. Okay. Oh, my legs are kind of shutting down on me. We got 10 seconds, guys, so get your dumbbells. You can hold them at your sides or you can hold them up on your shoulders. Personal preference, whatever works for you. Here we go, back and behind. Together, other side. Thirty-five seconds. Thirty. Twenty-five. Can you tell I'm just counting down until this is over? Twenty seconds. Oh my gosh. Just breathe. Keep moving. If you need to set your weights down, you can. Five, two, ah. All right, next exercise is a classic squat. So we'll step wide, lunge laterally, alternating sides. We go in three. Here we go. I'm keeping my same weight. I'm gonna move slow and controlled. I'm almost hinging forward into this, a hair. So I'm not letting that knee shoot out first. I'm letting my butt shoot back. Twenty seconds. This is not the cardio. Well, it feels like the cardio. It's not. Five. Two. Ah. Curtsies. Oh, who writes this stuff? Whose idea was this? We go in five. Curtsy. I'm gonna pop up this time. Step back. Alternating sides. If this bothers your knee at all to be at this angle, just go ahead and switch to a, re a regular reverse lunge. We're just about halfway. 20 more seconds. Ten. Come on, guys. Come on, Caitlin. Five. Ah. Rest. Classic squat. Side to side. We got this. In five. Here we go. Nice and wide. Sinking into that heel. Using the outside of that glute, of that leg to push you up. I'm barely going anywhere anymore. Fifteen, my legs are shaking. Ten. Five. Two. Rest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's move on. All right, my friends, next exercise, I'm gonna use a single uh, weight for this. I'm gonna use about 30 pounds. Uh, it is a toes out sumo squat. Think ballerina, right? We're gonna really work those inner thighs. So if you don't have heavy enough weight to really challenge you there, you can always use both of your dumbbells here or even by bringing them up onto your shoulders, it's gonna make it a little more challenging. This is our last heavy lift circuit, not even heavy lift. So we're not as heavy anymore, right? But it's our last lifting circuit. All right, we go 
in five, three, here we go. Drop down and up. Tuck that pelvis under you. You're gonna feel your glutes working, but those inner thighs are really the driving force to bring you up here. Focus on using those muscles. Need a better grip on my dumbbell. Here we go. Down and up. Holy inner thighs. After this, we're gonna come down on the ground for a single leg bridge, so be prepared. Oh my gosh. Three. Is anybody else shaking like their legs? Just like, huh? Ah. Mine are shaking. All right, we're down. Single leg bridge. I'm gonna use the same dumbbell. Pop it on my hips. Pick a leg. I'm gonna start with my left. Here we go. Up and down. So here's your option. You can elevate that other foot completely or you can do a B stance bridge where it's down here, but it's not really doing any work. I think this is where I'm gonna stay <laughs> because this weight is really heavy. So all my weight is still in my left heel, my left glute. My right leg is just keeping me from tipping over and my butt's about to fall off. Oh my gosh. Keep going, we're almost done. Two, rest. All right, remember which leg you did. It shouldn't be too hard to remember because, oh my gosh. We're going back, sumo toes out in the thighs. I'm sweaty. Here we go. Toes out, down, and up. Pressing through those heels, still gripping with the entire foot as we don't want to weaken the muscles of the feet. You might find this harder if you've got clunky shoes on or big cushiony arch support shoes. I prefer to train either barefoot or in barefoot training shoes because I had really weak feet and it has helped immensely with my knee strength, my hips, just everything. Three. Okay, we're down. We're going to let that other leg do the work in that single leg bridge. We can get the weight on our hips. Again, I'm going to do that B stance. You might try to do the first few like this. Yeah, on number three, it hurts. So here we go, bringing that other leg down. B stance. Remember, this leg is not doing any work. It is all in that right leg, or whatever ever leg you chose to do first or second. You got under 20 seconds, guys. And then we're gonna kind of take the intensity down a notch as far as weights. We can move them out of the way after this. Three. Okay, just dump it on off there. All right, guys, we're moving to a new, a new circuit. So get your dumbbells out of the way because you're not gonna need them for the rest of this workout. All right, guys, our next exercise is a skater. So again, I'm gonna get my weights out of the way. So I've got a little more space. Um, you uh, won't need your exercise mat for the next couple circuits, so you can get it out of the way. All we're gonna do is skate side to side. This is not gonna be like a hit you know, exercise, skating exercise. I want you to focus on using the muscles of the legs with every rep of that skater here. Slow in control, not super slow, but with control. Um, we're still going for 45 seconds and we're going in three. Here we go, skate. To make this a little harder, 
Don't let that back leg touch the ground. Or you can make it harder by dropping into a curtsy each time. I want you to find what works for you today. I'm gonna, I actually really like that leap into that curtsy. Okay, now I don't like it as much because my legs are on fire. I'm gonna play with both. 10 more seconds here. Five, two, rest. All right, breathe. Next exercise, we're gonna sink down into a squat. Stay there, alternate lifting heels. This is gonna be hard. All right, here we go. Come on down. Lift a heel, sink it back down, lift, sink it down, nice and slow, oh my gosh, you're over halfway, that's your good news, who's shaking? How bad do you want those weighted exercises back now? Five. Stay low, guys. Ah! Okay, we're gonna skate again. Everything's fine, I'm fine. We skate. We go in five. Three. Here we go. The wind is insane. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is so much fun. And it's like barely raining <laughs> and barely windy. But for San Diego, it's like, oh, wow. We're just about halfway here. Remember, you've got the option to do that curtsy. I'm not, because I can see the workout ahead of us. 10, five, three, okay. We're gonna sink it down. Alternate lifting heels. We go in five. Here we go, we're down, lift, stay low, oh my gosh, 30, 30, halfway, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I don't know whose idea this was, has nothing to do with me. 15, oh my gosh. <clears throat> At least when you lift that one heel, that leg gets like kind of a reprieve. Two, ah. All right, shake it out. A little extra rest, we keep going. All right guys, next exercise is a side shuffle squat. So we're going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle to the side, not super fast. And then we're going to sink down into a slow controlled squat. So shuffle, shuffle as far as you can manage, depending on where you're working out. If you've got the space for it, you can shuffle like a maniac down your hallway. I think three shuffles is good, <laughs> but whatever works, we go in 15 seconds. So remember shuffle, 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 nice deep squat. We go in 10. In five, I'm gonna start over here. Two, here we go. Shuffle, 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 squat. Thirty more seconds, guys. 
Okay, remember, if you've got less space, just do less shuffles. That might mean more squats, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Those legs are burning. Ten more seconds. Five. Rest. All right, we're gonna come down into like a super wide squat. We're just gonna glide side to side. It's almost like we'll start in that classic squat right here. Bend that other knee, glide, other way, glide. Oh my gosh, glide. <sighs> 30 more seconds. I like to have my toes pointed forward here <sighs> to really let me focus. I'm using the outside of my thighs and my glutes for this move. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Five, slow guys. Two, just don't forget to breathe. Rest. We shuffle, 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 then drop it down. We go in five. Here we go. I am gonna be so sore tomorrow. You guys will have to come back and let me know if you were able to walk after this workout. 25 seconds. Fifteen, squeeze those glutes. Should be firing even during that shuffle. Abs pulled in. Three. Okay. All right, step it wide. We glide side to side. Oh my gosh. It's like that didn't feel like cardio until right now. <laughs> Wide, face down, stay down, glide. Oh my gosh. How low can you go? Watch those knees. Don't let them collapse in. Stay strong. Every time I glide to one side, I straighten out that opposite leg. 20 seconds, 15, almost done guys, three, two, all right, shake it out, we're moving on. All right, my friends, we have got three circuits left, so this uh, is our last uh, circuit where we're actually standing, so yay. Okay, first exercise, step back and forth lunges. So we're gonna start by stepping back into a lunge and then I'll step uh, that leg back to meet the other and then I'm gonna stay on that same leg, step it forward and then back together and then I will switch legs. So you literally step back, back, forward, forward, switch legs. We got this, we go in 10 seconds. You have to use your brain a little here. Nice and slow, controlled. We go in three. Here we go. Step back, back, forward, forward. Switch. Back, back, forward, forward. Switch. Back, back. Don't fall. In your own time. I don't want to mess anybody up. If your tempo is dif different than mine, I'm just going to focus on my own coordination here. Oh 
almost done. You got about 15 seconds. Abs pulled in. Good. That wasn't so bad. All right, we're going to sink in to a lateral lunge. And then we will go up and over to the other side. So we're sinking to the outside here, up and over, other side. Let's pick up the pace a little, get the heart rate up. Thirty seconds. We're staying low impact. Just a little hop hop to get to the other side. I'm moving my arms to get more out of it. Pick up the heart rate a little more. Involve more of the body. Five. Rest. Lunges. Back, back, forward, forward, switch. Oh my gosh. We go in three. Here we go. Back. I'm picking up the pace a little this time. Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs. Eighteen seconds, guys. And we get to come down after our next exercise. Three. That was harder this time. All right, up and over. We go in five, three, two, here we go, to the side, up and over. My legs are not really working anymore for me. 30 seconds. Twenty. We're looking outside now. It looks like the sun is coming out, which is not that exciting. Ten. Oh my gosh. Five. Two. Rest. Two more circuits left. All right, my friends. We've reached. The floor time, yay. Okay, first exercise is a crab thruster variation. If you need to do this as a bridge, you can. So what is gonna happen is we are going to point those toes forward, thrust up here, come down, angle the toes out, thrust up here. This is gonna burn, it's gonna get serious very quickly. We go, and then obviously we'll go back forward, out, alternating with each rep. We go in 10 seconds. So mentally prepare yourself for a booty burn. Again, if you need to bring your lower back or upper back to the floor, that is fine. We thrust up, down, switch the feet, point them forward. Again. Oh, my butt's on fire already. 30 more seconds here, guys. Every time you come up, remember this, that rule with the bridge, right? Same rule applies here. You're tucking that pelvis. You're not arching that back to get the hips as high as possible, but instead pulling it in towards your nose. So up and in, squeeze your bum. Hamstrings might be giving you a little trouble right now too. Two, and rest. All right, we're going to come down. I'm 
I'm going to bring the forearms down, turn my leg out to the side here. So my side of my foot is going to be lifting up towards the ceiling in three. Here we go. Lift. So I'm starting with my right leg. Just take note of whatever leg you are starting with. I want you to flex your foot. Stay active through that entire leg. Your side booty should be like meh right now. Like leave me alone. <sighs> Try not to let your head drop. That's something I notice everyone, including myself, does as you get tired, right? So keep it in line with the rest of your spine. Keep your neck in line. Abs still pulled in. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds. Don't forget which leg you're doing right now. Three. Oh my gosh. Rest. Flip it back over. We're doing that crabby thruster with multi-angle uh, feet. What? You know what I'm talking about. In three. <laughs> I need to go to bed now. All right, we're pressing up. Oh my gosh. Open the toes. In. Again, if this bothers your wrists, your shoulders, you can always bring it to a bridge. You can even put that upper back on a bench and do an actual thrust. <sighs> Halfway, guys. I don't think there's any part of the lower body that did not get work today. Because, oh my gosh, 10. Five, <laughs> yes, all right, we're gonna angle that lift on the other leg. And then we have one circuit left. And there's leaves and dirt all over. All right, turn that toe. And lift, I am not as mobile on this side, wow. Oh, but there's the burn. Remember, you're flexing that foot. Your spine is in alignment. Chin retracted. <sighs> I'll let you know when there's good news on the timer for you. Right now, I'd rather not share. Hey, we're over halfway now. That's good news, right? <sighs> 15 seconds. Now we're talking. Flex the foot, stay active. Don't let that back arch. Five, oh my gosh, three. Rest, holy smokes. Okay, <laughs> one more circuit. All right, all we're gonna do, my friends, is flip ourselves over back onto our back. Let's start with, pick a leg, pick your weaker leg, right? Let's get the weaker leg over and done with. We're gonna do a single leg bridge with a heel lift. So we'll press up and then you'll press up and then you'll lift the heel, bring it back down and drop the hips and repeat. We go in 20 seconds, so just take a minute to chill and decramp your butt cheeks. All right, we go in 10. Let's get ready, pick a leg. I don't know if I should start with this leg or not, but I'm going to. In five, or sorry, three. <laughs> Here we go, we're up, lift the heel, lower it back down, all the way down, up, lift, and lower. We're never resting those glutes on the ground. Oh my gosh, who thought of this move? Halfway. <laughs> Remember which leg you're doing right now. Actually, it won't be hard to forget because I'm going to make you work the same leg. Eight. Oh my gosh. How's it going, guys? Three. Okay, same leg now. We're going to come into like a hydrant. You're going to lift it up. It'll kick out. I can't do this right now. It'll kick out. Lower. Lift. Uh, bring it back in and kick out again. So we're here. 
lower, tap it down, up, in. Same leg we were just working. Oh my gosh. Extend, tap, lift, back in. Halfway, guys. Oh my gosh. How's the side of your leg and your bum? Oh my gosh. Five. Two. Oh my gosh. Okay. Flipping it back over. So now that leg gets to rest. Other leg is going to work. So we're starting with that bridge. Single leg bridge with a heel lift. Here we go. Up. Lift. Lower. Down. I'm not resting. Make this all separate moves, right? Take your time. So up. Lift. Lower. Back down. What four separate moves? Oh my gosh. I can't wait until there are zero moves left. Ten seconds. Oh my god, I'm shaking so bad. Okay, we're gonna go for that hydrant, straight leg hydrant. Do it over here. All right, so we start by extending the leg, tapping it down, and bringing it back in. Down, tap, bring it back in. Open, op open, open up through that hip. How many of you aren't able to do this one? If that's a problem, you're obviously just gonna skip that extension of the leg, right? So you would just stay doing a regular hydrant. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. 10, five, thank goodness. All right, hang with me here. Take that leg you were just working, fold it up under you, and let's stretch through that hip. Oh my gosh. Just kind of roll around here, find where you need that pressure, where you need to just kind of hang for a sec. Oh my goodness. Yes, like right in there. That was good. That was awesome. I love kicking my own butt. All right, guys, go ahead and switch legs here. Opposite leg now comes under. This side is never as tight. Just breathe here. Again, rolling around, finding where you need to stretch. All right, let's go ahead and bring it to like a butterfly position here. Bring uh, the feet nice and close to your body. And then uh, just kind of pull your knees down. Nice stretch through the hips. Some of you are probably really mobile here while others are like, ah, I don't like this one. So <laughs> do what you can. All right, now let's scoot the hips away from the body. What? No, scoot from the shoes. Scoot your hips away from your shoes. Don't bring your hips away from your body. That's too hard, right? Because that's impossible. All right, fold forward. So you can tell I'm a little delirious now. Make sure you guys go eat something, right? Carbohydrate and a protein. Something that's going to make you feel good. That's going to make you feel proud. You should already be super proud of yourself for completing that workout. Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead and bring those legs out in front and just kind of flex those feet, 
Get a nice stretch through those hamstrings. If this isn't enough, you can lean forward into it, but I really want you to be active through those feet. You can grab them, by all means do it. Take a few deep breaths, just relax into it. Don't be ashamed of the fact that you probably are getting some rolls coming up over those shorts. It's totally normal. <laughs> Everybody's got them. Looking like a Sharpe. I love it. All right, let's get the quads. So if you want to, you can come up to stand and just grab that foot. I, however, am not going to because I don't want to stand at all the rest of my day here. So I'm gonna to come to like a, a lunge position. I'm just gonna grab that back foot and push my hips forward. Amazing stretch right here. And just breathe. Hopefully it stays raining. I'm gonna take a shower because like I said, I forgot deodorant. Take a shower, go ahead and switch lights. Have some like flavored coffee. Sit on my bum, even though it hurts. I really hope you guys enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that workout. So if you did, or even if you didn't, Right? Show your support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends. All right, guys, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I love you, and I will see you next time.